uh, you need to step into that place where you can uh, look at your future self in the face and say, what would be best for you? What actions today would be best uh, for you tomorrow? And one of those actions is starting early on retirement savings and investing. And a lot of people don't want to do that. And their, their excuses are things like, oh, I don't have the money or I don't have you know, the, the best job yet, or I don't have, you know, the, the best ability to, to save for retirement. Maybe my, my boss doesn't offer a 401k with a match, you know, maybe, uh, I, I just don't have these, this perfect set of circumstances. Well, guess what? We're not looking for a perfect set of circumstances. What we're looking for is just circumstances to where we can start. We can begin. We can start to build for our financial futures. And uh, if you have the ability to do so, you should absolutely be doing so because the math ends up playing out. The math of starting early versus not starting early with retirement savings 100% says the earlier you start, the better off you're going to be. So for instance, I've given this example before, and I think this would be a really strong example as to why we cannot procrastinate in this place. We cannot put off our retirement savings so far into the future, and we cannot put off any type of investing so far into the future because we believe we have time uh, or that we don't have the perfect set of circumstances today. So I ran a couple scenarios, one in which uh, an individual is saving or investing uh, for 35 years, $300 per month and they make 10% per year within this particular scenario. Uh, and in doing so, what you end up with over that 35 year period is $1.138 million. Uh, and so that doesn't seem like a bad gig, right? You save $300 a month uh, over 35 years uh, and you end up with over a million dollars. Uh, and that's assuming that you just stayed at $300 a month, which is uh, far less than the average new car payment in America today. Well, if you just took that same individual, and let's say that same individual put off uh, retirement savings 15 years into the future, and they only saved for 20 years. Well, in only saving for 20 years, uh, they obviously are going to be left with less money uh, than the first individual, but the question is how much less? So let's say you waited 15 years, uh, and then you invested for 20 years into the future, so that same 35-year period, but you did not invest for the first 15 years of that 35-year period, you are only left with $227,811. So you almost come up $900,000 short of the individual that invested uh, for 15 more years than you did. And it's not like they invested twice as long but they started earlier. They started early enough to start compounding their money quicker because the quicker we can get our money compounding, uh, the quicker we can get our money growing for us into the future because doubling a thousand dollars is only going to get you two thousand dollars, but doubling a hundred thousand dollars gets you to two hundred thousand dollars. And the, the trick of that is that those happen at the exact same pace, right? If you were to take a thousand dollars and invest it at 10%, it would double uh, in about seven years. But if you took $100,000 and invested it at 10%, it would also double in about seven years. And so in seven years, the person with 1,000 would have 2,000 and the person with 100,000 would have 200,000. Uh, so you see that as you start earlier, right, you can go ahead and get through uh, the growing of the small amounts of money and you can start getting to some larger and larger values that can begin to compound on one another even quicker. And the craziest part about that scenario that I ran is that not only uh, at $300 a month would that one individual come up so short, but if they wanted to get to the same amount of money as the individual uh, that only invested $300 a month and did it for 35 years, uh, they would have had to invest $1,499.92. They would have had to invest five times more money just to catch up with that individual. And they didn't even wait uh, to where they invested half as long. They invested more uh, than half the time uh, that the other individual did. Uh, but the, the fact that they did not have their money growing and compounding early on forced them into a position where they had to save so much more for the future because they didn't have time. Time was not on their side. You do not have time uh, with retirement savings. You do not have time uh, with investing. The earlier you start, the more your money can compound and the better off you will be. And so if we're putting this off, if we're procrastinating in this place, hopefully these numbers are shocking enough uh, and this situation uh, is, is telling you that, hey, 
if I don't, if I do not invest like I should, one, it's going to be more costly. I'm going to have to invest more money later just to get to the same place. And two, uh, if I do invest the same amount, but just for a shorter period of time, I'm going to be left with less. Uh, therefore, my future self, myself in retirement is not going to be able to live the life that I want to live. Uh, and so hopefully those reasons are enough to say, let's get on the retirement savings and investing bandwagon.